No three ways to avoid failed plastic surgery. Plastic surgery can indeed improve appearance. However, if plastic surgery fails, the results are not only disappointing, but can also make the appearance worse. To, to prevent that from happening, know how to avoid plastic surgery failures before you go through with it. Instead of making the appearance more attractive, failed plastic surgery can actually make self-confidence decrease. Failures that can occur can vary such as stitch marks that look untidy, surgery results that deviate from desire, or even the shape of the face or body that becomes irregular. How to avoid failed plastic surgery? Below are three ways you can do to avoid failed plastic surgery, including 1. Choose the right plastic surgeon. Choosing a competent and experienced plastic surgeon is the main capital to achieve the body or face shape that you dream of. The first step that needs to be taken to find the right plastic surgeon is to ascertain whether the surgeon is registered with the Association of Indonesian Reconstructive and Aesthetic Plastic Surgeons, Parapi, or not. Another tip you can do to find the right plastic surgeon is to find out about his experience in the world of plastic surgery. You can consider some of these questions as the basis for your search. How long has he been working as an aesthetic surgeon? Is there a plastic surgery procedure that he is more committed to? If so, does that specialization match your desired operation? How many cases of aesthetic surgery has he performed? Are there any before and after surgery comparison photos that you can look at? What types of plastic surgery are often performed? How much will it cost for surgery and further treatment if any? You can also ask about the results of the plastic surgery that you will be undergoing. Choose a plastic surgeon who is realistic and doesn't promise perfect results. 2. Make sure you are the right candidate for the plastic surgery you want to do. Everyone has different body and health conditions. Therefore, you are not necessarily suitable for plastic surgery that may be successful for others. The following are the types of plastic surgery and the criteria for people who are suitable for it. Eyelid surgery. Eyelid surgery is surgery performed to rejuvenate or improve the shape of the eyelids. However, this surgery cannot treat dark circles around your eyes, fine lines, or wrinkles around your eyes. This surgery is acceptable and will get the most results if you have drooping, pocketed, or swollen eyelids. The best candidates for this procedure are people who do not smoke, are in good physical and mental health, and have no eye problems. Nose Surgery Rhinoplasty is usually done to change the shape of the nose. This surgery is suitable for those of you who have a large, crooked, asymmetrical nose, or have a lump. This operation is not suitable for people with thick skin. Also avoid doing this operation on children who are still in the process of growing and who like sports. Lip Surgery This operation is generally done to make the lips look fuller. This surgery is best performed on young people. However, if you are old, you can do this operation if your lips are really thin. This operation is not recommended for people who have allergies, suffer from diabetes, herpes, or have an autoimmune disease such as lupus. Surgical removal of the forehead or eyebrows. This is a surgery performed to correct sagging skin on the forehead, eyebrows and upper eyelids. Therefore, people who are suitable for this surgery are those who have wrinkles on their foreheads, or have lines of wrinkles. Cheek implants. This procedure is done to change the contours of the face to make it look more balanced. 
Cheek implants are suitable for people who have flat cheekbones or premature sagging of the cheeks. Avoid this procedure if your skin is too loose as it is better treated with a facelift or pulling procedure. Facelift This surgery is done to pull the skin of the face and or neck to make it look younger. The best candidates for this procedure are those who have sagging and wrinkled facial and neck skin, or have excess chin fat. It's best to avoid a facelift procedure if your skin is inelastic or you are obese. Chin Implants This is a procedure performed to balance the proportions of the nose and chin. This operation is usually recommended by doctors to people who have had nose surgery before. People who have dental problems are usually not recommended to undergo this procedure. So, before deciding to do one type of plastic surgery, make sure you are indeed the right candidate to do the procedure. Apart from that, make sure you have conveyed all the things you want for the results of your plastic surgery. That way, doctors can assess whether these things may be achieved or not. If not, at least the doctor will convey it in advance so that you can be more realistic. 3. Follow all recommendations before and after plastic surgery. Before undergoing plastic surgery, the surgeon will definitely give you a series of recommendations. To get satisfactory plastic surgery results, you need to do everything that your doctor recommends, without exception. For example, if you are a smoker, you will likely be asked to stop smoking for at least two to four weeks before and after surgery. You may also be asked to maintain your weight for at least six to 12 months before plastic surgery. It's important for you to remember, don't remodel your body in beauty salons, for example for silicone injections, because people who don't have the competence to do this procedure could do it. This makes the risk of plastic surgery failing, even causing death, to be very high. Also, don't be in a hurry when you decide you want plastic surgery. First find out as much information about plastic surgery as possible by asking several plastic surgeons. That way, your risk of experiencing failed plastic surgery can be minimized.